Hey guys, welcome. Today we're gonna do a very basic tutorial on how to fill a figure or a sketch with a base color so you can start coloring it. Um, we're gonna try a few methods. The first one is the brush tool. So let's pick a color and set the brush to a, a hard brush with size linked to pressure. And let's create a new layer, put it underneath the sketch and put the sketch in a multiply type. Okay. So here we go. So you, what you want to do is to outline the whole figure with the brush and the color you chose. Um, it could be any color; it doesn't matter. Uh, well, you, you don't want to leave any open spaces because we're gonna fill this with uh, the paint bucket. The idea is to do this. Um, fast like you don't want to waste any time like using the brush painting the whole thing like the idea of this tutorial is to do it the fastest way you can so you can start painting right away so let's fill this okay we're drawing so okay we're finishing and when you finish you, you want to grab the one tool make sure this thingy up here it's turned on it means that you can select a lot of things at the same time and we can select like these triangles i did on the bottom and select inside the lines you drew let's create a new layer and expanded maybe 20 no 20 seems like too much maybe 15 pixels will be okay 15 seems okay in this case let's take the bucket brush the the bucket tool i mean and paint it so now you have two layers and you want to merge them to merge you use ctrl e or command e on a mac Let's try a new form on doing this. So create a new layer and you can see this thingy I'm pointing right here. It's like a painting selection. So you have, you're have you gonna have to use the paint brush to paint this. It will always show with this pinkish color. Um, you wanna do the same thing like outlining the the drawing and or you can paint it right away like with a big brush but I don't recommend it I, I think I prefer doing it this way so when you're done you're gonna pick the bucket tool and okay let's see let's change this number because it's leaving a, a white thingy up here okay so let's put it to a hundred and paint the whole thing inside with this pinkish color that the selection does and fix it a little with the bar with the brush tool okay we're fixing mm -hmm. like the little white thingies i'm doing this really fast like um Wherever I think I see the white line, I paint, but I'm not paying like like extreme attention to it. So when you're done, you're gonna press the painting selection again, and you can see it is selected. So now we're gonna grab the bucket and paint it, and that's it this one is like faster than the other one um, let's change the color let's put it a pink on it okay I like this uh, let's do another type of 
feeling okay let's create a new layer again and this time we're gonna use the lasso tool You have to make sure that the thingy up here is selected again so you can select a lot of things at the same time and all you have to do is kind of draw around this, this sketch and fill it with the selection and you'll see how they all merge into one big selection. Oh, you can also use the polynegal polynegal selection to make hard edges or uh, straight edges. And now that we have all selected, we can use the paint bucket and change the color and paint. That's it. You're now filled oh okay we missed a strand of hair here we're gonna select it again and paint it with the bucket okay now it's done um let's try another one okay again a new layer let's do the okay so let's pretend that you made a really good line art instead of me that I did a sketch and it's this one is like the simplest one because you have all the job done and this time I'm gonna do it like really fast I'm gonna outline the drawing like I did like, like a really good um, um, closed line art and we're gonna pretend that's the way it was at the beginning <laughs> But when you have a good line art and everything is like closed in and you don't have any open spaces in the line art, it's really, really easy. This is one is the fastest way you can do it. So you select the one tool, select outside the drawing, um, selection, invert, and maybe uh, contract a little bit, like two pixels or so and select the paint bucket a color any color doesn't matter and uh, in the new layer be below the line art you're gonna paint and that's it and this is the fastest way i i think making the line art first maybe is the best of the ways but since i did the sketch here i was trying to show how to make it like without the liner so thank you for watching and please subscribe like this video and follow me on my social medias i'll see you next time